Hello to my Aquarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get right into it. Let's see what kind of week you have coming up. All right, we're going to jump right in. I've already prayed over your cards, Aquarius. I already asked Most High God for clarity in every area of your lives, Aquarius. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards. I see that tower card popping out, trying to jump out the deck. Tower card, tower moment is really just you're divinely protected um, in a very vulnerable state. It hasn't popped out, but it was trying to pop out of the deck as I'm shuffling the cards here. And so it's just a total recall of just remembering why you're here on planet Earth. You're a humanitarian Aquarius. So I'm talking to you wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart. Even if you're a cusper, even if you're on the cusp, if you're on the cusp of Capricorn or on the cusp of uh, Pisces, I'm still talking to you. So check your houses, your birth chart. You can, there's a link for birth charts below. It's also a link for Chiron below. Right now we have five planets that are uh, retrograde, the judgment card or the Pluto is no longer retrograde. So continue going through your metamorphosis, continue on your rebirth journey, continue your very powerful transformation, Aquarius. Um, both of your ruling planets are currently retrograde. Uranus and um, and um, Saturn are both retrograde. So yeah, you're trying to create some traditions, some rules for yourselves. Make sure you enforce your own boundaries that you've created. Uh, Chiron, like I said, the wounded healer is retrograde. And so find out what your Chiron is. You will need your time of birth for Chiron. Um, Jupiter is also retrograde, the planet of good luck, good fortune. That's right. That's also retrograde. So, um, yeah. So good luck, good fortune. What's on your horizon, right? Jupiter is retrograde right now. So that's also the planet of um, morals and adventure and confidence and zest for life and possibilities, abundance, blessings, opportunities, good fortune. That's right. So count your blessings, right? Put down a list of what you're fortunate, what you feel fortunate about as we get closer and closer to this full moon. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards, Aquarius. Let's go. Let's see what this week looks like for you. All right. Change, liberated, and free. I love it. You're starting out right. That's Uranus, which is currently retrograde, right? Current great, uh, uh, Uranus is currently retrograde. It's the planet of change and liberation. It's also the planet of intellect, um, freedom, independence, the planet of... Um, Invention, so maybe somebody's inventing something now that you're moving on from something. Somebody see that big sunlight right here? Somebody feels successful, someone feels very positive. You're in great energy starting out the week, right? So, your money growing. Here we have the seven of pentacles, that's right. So, that's right, you're planting some seeds, and I do see your money growing here. We also have the eight of swords right here, so somebody's gonna be doing the energy work. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Doing the energy work, balancing some things out. Here we have the two of pentacles. As you're continuing to sow seeds and help people to understand how to move towards financial independence, it's really the seeds that's being planted, right? Just leaving some things behind, no longer feeling restricted, helping people to take their blindfolds off. Here's the devil card. And um, break the chains of fear, doubt, uncertainty. You know, this is the, this is the impartation. You all are imparting your own wisdom and knowledge and how you were able to leave behind a lot of distractions. That's what you're going to be doing for other people. I love that, Aquarius. That's what's happening this week. You're helping people to learn how to create very firm boundaries. Here we have the world card here, you know, and enforce those boundaries. These are both of your, this is both of your, um, your ruling planets. This is Saturn and this is Uranus, right? And so source is saying you're helping people to learn how to enforce, create boundaries, enforce boundaries, so that you can come, you can move on. And we have the Six of Swords. So as you all are moving on to calmer waters, meaning that you're, assigned, you're closing out assignments, you're closing out cycles in love, what you're taking with you are good memories, okay? What you're taking with you are good memories as you're balancing things out. The Two of Pentacles here really is about balance, right? And so as you continue to balance things out, you're also imparting that wisdom and knowledge on other people and how they're also balancing things out as well. Yeah, so you all are the I know sign. And so you know exactly how now to when to close out bound, I mean, close out cycles, how to create boundaries, very firm boundaries, right? And close out cycles. Here we have the wheel of fortune. So some unexpected changes are happening and they're all happening for the good. This is Jupiter, like I said, which is now currently retrograde. So even though all of these readings are timeless, when you watch the videos, whether a planet is retrograde or not, remember planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. So whether when you watch this video, you can watch it a year from now. 
And let's say Jupiter is not retrograde. Let's say Uranus is not retrograde. And let's say that Saturn is not retrograde. Sources saying when you're helping people to free their mind and to think for themselves and to, to create multiple streams of income in order to balance their lives out and what to focus on, there's always going to be people who are going to demonize it. Oh my God, you should have been at this place in your life by this time. You should have been at that place in your life by this time. There's going to be always somebody who has something to say about whatever. But if you can just stay focused on your purpose, that's just key. That's what's key, right? So yeah, and helping you to move on from just, you know, like restricting yourself, like drying up your own creativity. So here we have the Empress card. So this is again about growing your abundance and your prosperity. You can cut ties with anything or anyone that's trying to limit your abundance and your prosperity, like a lot of knowledge, because again, someone is moving on to create something else, right? So look at these two images here, right? So this is Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords connects us with Gemini. Gemini, we're not talking about any Geminis that you know, but the message and how you send out a message of helping people to see themselves um, like look back at how they may have been restricting themselves by what they were saying. Like basically when you hear people say, as it, let's, it says it relates to money, maybe people were saying, you know, every time I get a little bit of money, it just happens to, what, what, how do people say it? This, um, like every time I get some money, then it always just flies out of my hand or, uh, here comes a bill or something in the mail. Y'all know what I'm saying. Like drop some comments below that is speaking lack into your life. Or if your thoughts are that, okay, I'm never going to have anything, I'm never going to have. And again, money is not everything. It's a resource. There's only one source and there's, everything else is a resource. So a source is saying to you, but money is also, could be like the, the uh, wealth could also be like wealth and your knowledge could be make you very rich. Your wealth and your knowledge and like books that you read, conversations that you have with people, who you're aligning yourself with. Remember, it's not always paper and coins, right? So sources say once you drop knowledge, like drop wealth of knowledge, drop coins, drop money into people's spirits about, okay, you can free yourself. This is like it's imaginary. Like don't even restrict yourself. You got all this sword around you. You have all this power and intellect around you. This could mean that a person is, you know, learning how to invest, that's a sword, that's power and intellect. So increase your power and intellect in how to invest. This sword right here could mean you're going back to school and gaining, you're investing in your knowledge and going back to school and learning a particular, um, a particular discipline or whatever. This sword could mean, hey, you're around a lot of people who are, you know, you feel like there's a balance there where maybe you're spending some time doing some other things that you're passionate about and there's an exchange of information going on all of this power and intellect around you your only restriction is you and so you don't want to dry up your creativity so this is where again before your creativity dries up you're imparting you're imparting wisdom and knowledge on the people there's an ancestor that's helping you to move on you know and just cut ties with anything that you may have been disappointed in so you're taking your power with you right you're taking your power with you right so yeah you're taking your power with you, your power and your intellect with you so that you can continue on increasing your wisdom and knowledge, right? You're continue increasing your wisdom and knowledge, right? So here we have the hangman here. So things may seem like they may be on pause for somebody right now when it comes to like your money growing or whatever, because you're trying to help other people balance things out, but things are about to be restored. Like I said, restored to balance because as you're slowing down, remember time is money. So as you're slowing down and you're teaching other people things, that's taking time out of your day to teach energies, right? So yeah, you're teaching energies. And so you're trying not to restrict yourselves. You're moving on from some things. You have a um, loved one. Here we have the Six of Cups here. You have a loved one that in the in the meantime, you're moving forward in childlike faith, right? Somebody could be purchasing a house. And so something could be passed down to you. You could be inheriting something of wealth for you, right? As you're continuing to move on. So these could be wealthy tips about how to purchase a home, how to maintain a house, how to, you know, those kind of things. Here's the Six of Cups again. So you got six again. So something is growing. Something is growing as you're moving on, as you're moving on, right? So you're moving on in childlike faith, having those nostalgic memories. You're taking good memories with you as you're continuing to move on so that you're not drying up all of your creativity, right? Here we have the Seven of Cups here right? 
Seven of Cups is about temptation, and we have the tempter right here. So you're tempted to put the blindfolds back on to unsee something you've already seen, like in terms of how people can make like foolish mistakes as it relates to their material wealth, finances, and things like that. So when you're dropping off knowledge, you're basically like dropping off a gift. This is what I'm seeing you doing this week. Like, it's not like you're physically giving someone. You could be if you could afford to give people money, but if you can't, you're dropping knowledge, right? So you're saying, here's this gift of knowledge to empower yourself so that you can keep on moving through, you know, you're transitioning and traveling light. And so you're continuing to fill yourselves back up. You're continuing to fill yourselves back up with creativity. So continue drinking your water, continue doing your spiritual baths, your exercises, your spiritual detoxes, all of those things. So you can keep your vibrations high so that your thoughts don't go down to evaporating your own creativity. Drinking a lot of caffeinated drinks, you know, eating a lot of sugary things. So you're not stressed. So this week is again, you're keeping your vibrations extremely high. So Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you, Aquarius. So yeah, it's going to be a very positive week for you all. Like I said, I see your money growing because your knowledge is growing. Your knowledge of self is growing so that you can move on. So that you can move on. So remember, looking at your cards here, even if you are giving away money, it's a gift, right? So it's not like you're loaning anything. It's like, okay, you can afford to share. You can invest in something. And so it's not something you lost. Because again, you're investing in something, you're enforcing a boundary. So you may say, for instance, to a person here, I'll give you this. You don't have to pay this back. If that could be a thought that you have, you don't have to pay something back, but that's it. That's, that's closing out a cycle. That's the end of that. And so what you do with it, how you plant seeds, how you invest it will make all the difference in the world and balancing things out, right? Yeah, you don't ever want to let money be the thing that's going to break up something. Either you have it to give or you don't. Or you state what the terms of the agreement are up front, right? If that's the case. So that you can move on. So you're not holding on to something, right? So if you're dropping knowledge to somebody and that's your wealth, that's your gift. And it may not be in the, in the form of paper and coins. But if you're dropping knowledge, what they do with it is up to them. Yep, so that's what's going to help um, help people leave behind a bunch of distractions and travel light to your next wealthy place so that you can continue growing your wealth and your knowledge. Yeah, here we have the two of um, coins again. Yep, so that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. So I feel like a lot of you all, this is going to be the week that you're helping people to move on. Here we have uh, four of swords here, and this is going to be the week that you're really going to be getting some rest. Your conversation is going to be a lot different because you're helping people to do the mirror work, to look at themselves in the mirror and let them see you can have multiple streams of income um, and still achieve your goals. That's it. And still achieve your goals. Don't worry about what other hurt people are trying to hurt you. They won't help you up themselves. Help you. This is how you're going to help yourselves. This is how you're going to empower yourselves. Right. So don't worry about all oh, this person. They could have helped me. They didn't help me. Some people won't even drop knowledge, like they won't even drop off a gift of knowledge to people. But Source is saying, if Source put it in you and how you were able to move on to grow your money and financial independence, that's the knowledge you're helping to drop other people, that they have to live a balanced out life. You don't have to work yourself into oblivion, right? Tower card. Yep, there it is. That's right, tower moment. So this is where you add structure and authority to things right? It, it's not one way or the highway, right? So that's how you're helping people. That's how the creator helps us to, when you are faced with obstacles of things where it's like, okay, messages not getting through to energies, that's how source will drop knowledge into your spirit from the inside out to say, okay, have you tried this? Have you tried that? You were determined to do X, Y, and Z. Use that same determination you know, to uh, help other people. And that's how you can help other people. And I feel like it's with financial literacy is with your, how you're helping other people as people have helped you. And so you're cool, calm, and collected. Here we have the King of Pentacles, especially when they're around people who are master manipulators. Basically, is this is one way or the highway. No, it is not. In order for you to achieve financial independence, there's multiple ways of getting to it, multiple streams. All of this is water. Multiple streams of income right? 
your water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it. So if you're around a bunch of shady people laughing at your creative ideas, of course your money is going to dry up. But if you're around clear intention energies, it's like, oh, okay, even if they don't understand, I know somebody who can help you with that idea to help grow that idea, not copy an idea and steal it from somebody, right? Even though there's nothing new under the sun, everybody has their unique way of creating things, right? So you're helping people to add structure to those things. And it's going to feel like you hit the jackpot. That's right. Here's the nine of cups here. Emotionally, you're helping somebody to feel like they have hit the jackpot. And just like you feel like you have hit the jackpot, right? Here we have the Knight of um, Pentacles here. It's, it's right there. There, there it is. There's no, there's no shortcut way. It's through hard work. It's a combination. It's through hard work. It's who you're around. You know, the air, the conversations that you're around. It's the water that shapes and guides it. So like I said, if you're around a bunch of shady people laughing at people's ideas, trying to manipulate people's emotions, you got to learn how to control your own and just say, hey, I'm getting back to hard work. There it is. There's no shortcut. Yep. So that's what it is. No shortcut. No shortcut way. So, yeah, somebody's going to feel like they have hit the jackpot because they know that through hard work that and keeping away from a bunch of chaos and confusion is going to help them. I keep trying to tell everybody this is going to be the this going to be the month, the cycle that a lot of people money is going to increase. But then you're going to have a remnant of people whose money is not going to increase because they're focusing on the wrong things. That won't be you, Aquarius. It won't be you. You won't be boo-boo the fool. So here we have eight of cups. So you tossing uh, fear, doubt, uncertainty, what people think about you into a burning bowl and you're getting it. There it is, right? You're heading harder, not at war with each other. You're moving on from any past disappointments and you're out here getting it. There it is, right? Looking back at yourself and remembering just how restricted you may have felt in the past because you're hearing a lot of people around you talk negative energy about the energy of money. Yeah. So that's how you're helping other people to get away from hurt people who hurt other people, who laugh at people who may not be at their peak when it comes to speaking, like believing in themselves, that their money could grow. They're finding other ways of growing their money. You're helping people to add structure to it so they can live their lives in a way. So it's an investment. That's what you're doing. You're investing in people who are at least open to hearing what you have to say. It's not one way or the highway. It's not one way or the highway, right? So, yep, financial independence. There it is. That's right. As you want financial independence, you got to work for it. There's no other way to get to it. There's no other way to get to it. It's hard work. That's right. And you're hashtag winning. That's right. You're out here winning in these earthly streets, Aquarius. Look at you. You're out here winning. Hashtag winning. Yeah, so in a very unconventional way. See, this is right here. You can be more conservative with your time in a very unconventional way. And that's what I'm talking about, Uranus. A lot of people in both of your rolling planets, these two planets right here, Saturn and Uranus, are both in, are both ret uh, retrograde. You don't have to jump in your spaceship. When there are people who are open and willing to learn that this that's the, that's the recipe for success, hard work, right? Hard work, investing in yourself, staying away from toxic energies who they're going to laugh at you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Y'all remember the movie Carrie, where poor baby she couldn't even go to the prom. Mom had candles all lit in the in the thing. She mom was doing the most right, but but source was saying to you, you know, when you when people want to realize it's not only one way of doing things that there's multiple streams of income. You're thinking more in lines of like I said. You're head and heart are not at war with each other. You're on this collaborative thing. Like you want to collaborate with people in multiple streams of income, those kind of ways. It's multiple ways of getting to success, be, becoming financially independent. And that's what you're helping people to do. So, yeah. Who is hating on you is none of your concern, right? But Source is saying, here we have the seven of swords here. Yeah, there's energies. When you're around certain energies... You know, you feel like you got to watch what you say. You got to watch your back. But that shows the cracks in, the, in their foundation, not in yours. It shows the cracks in their foundation, not in yours. And guess what? Source is always alerting you of things. Source is always alerting you of who's around, what they're saying, how their shadiness, all of that. Here we also have the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to feel very fortunate. There it is. Came out twice. Very fortunate. Yeah. Very, very fortunate. 
So this is where you're counting your blessing. This is Jupiter, came out twice. You're counting your blessings. That's right, you're counting your blessings that your abundance is growing and your prosperity is growing and so your abundance of knowledge. Remember, abundance, a lot of something, right? A lot of knowledge is growing, right? And a lot of abundance. You're divinely protected. You have nothing to worry about. So I'm telling y'all, y'all going to understand that the Tower card is actually a good thing. It's actually a good because it's a total recall of some things. Yeah, total recall of some things. And so that's the key. That you, you will hear about it, Aquarius. You will hear a lot of people say, oh, my God, this cycle, it just seems like things increase financially for your knowledge increase. You feel better. And then you're going to hear some people who focus in on the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they talk too busy jumping to conclusions, you know, gossiping, hurtful conversations, all just jumping to the wrong stuff. They're on the wrong frequency. Just pray for them. Here's a star card. Yeah. That's right. Everybody's a star in their own right. Meaning that there's hope, optimism, and bliss for everybody. You don't have to wait for you to find. You know, everybody has a star to follow. Meaning your star slash sun sign. We're not talking about celebrity. Source is saying to you, everybody has their own star to follow. Everybody. So the creator created that a, an assignment, a job for everybody. You'll never be without work. Never. Because Source created something for you to do. That's going to help other human beings. There it is. So, yeah. So, I feel like somebody is um, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. You know, Aquarius, which is a great thing. And again, hashtag winning again. There it is. So, this is actually rewarding you. When it's time for you, when you feel like you're at a fork in the road, always take the high road. Always. Not even sometimes. Take the high road. Take the high road. Yep. So, I see soulmate coming into your life. I see a soulmate coming into your lives, Aquarius, and it's exactly what you prayed for. It's a wish fulfilled for you because that energy is pouring into you just like you poured into other people. And so you are, your heart is already in the right place. And so your ancestors will alert you to who you need to watch yourselves around because their foundation is cracked. Right? And so you solid. You planting seeds. You solid. You good. So here we have the King of Swords. That's right. Sit yourself comfortably right on your throne. You are clear of head. Like I said, you've gone through a metamorphosis, Aquarius. You have a very clear thought. You're about helping people to adjust crowns. So even if people have the wrong intentions or they wrong thoughts about you, Aquarius, you're not making any disparaging comments about anybody. I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a good week for you. Watch. You'll see. You'll see. You're divinely protected. Here's the Seven of um, Swords here. Yeah. You'll know exactly whose foundation is cracked. You'll know. You'll know whose foundation is cracked. So stay focused. You have a wealth of knowledge about it. That's right, King of Coins. You have, you have a wealth of knowledge about it. The, see, the tower will fall on them. The tower will fall on anybody who you feel like you got to watch your back around. But it's because they have to watch the, their back around the people that they're around. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can't, they're around so many shady people that they always got to watch their back. But Source is saying to you, you keep speaking love, like a, a frequency of love into people and keep letting people know how, you know, just like I said, dropping knowledge into people's spirits. Source will watch out for them too. Here's a temperance card. That's right. Balancing it out. That's right, Bounce. Now, y'all have a guardian angel watching over you. You have a guardian angel that's watching over you, helping you, you know, on your journey. Yep. So if you feel like you're at an impasse or whatever, and you feel like, hey, you know what? You, you're you invoking a nightmare by going back into a particular routine or saying something. Remember this. Create a very firm boundary and enforce it. So if they say, hey, I'm a... Um, I'm going to give you this, this golden nugget of information because you see a lot of air here. I'm going to have a golden conversation with you. This is an investment that I'm making in, with you, in with you. Either you can take the knowledge and use it or you don't have to. You're not forcing anything because you're not trying to force yourself into other people's. You're not trying to force your way of thinking onto other people. They can take it as they will. If they don't want to, that's okay too. So makes sense, Aquarius. So you can go ahead and get your rest. That's right. You can go ahead and get your rest. Yep. All right. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. So you, you all are going to have a really good week. You're going to have a really, really good week. Really good week. Let me see what else we got. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So you can have a really, really good week. 
You're just helping people to move on from hurt people who hurt other people. That's it. You're just helping people to move on from that. You know, people who jump to conclusions about everything. You're moving on from that. So that's what I'm seeing. You're planting new seeds. You're planting new seeds about balance. Healthy work-life balance. Your well of joy is within you. That's right. Your well of joy is within. Your ancestors are very proud of you. You got a lot of them around you. So dream even bigger. If y'all already got a big head, get that big water head together. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm saying, Aquarius. But if you, for real, if you have big dreams, it's time for you to dream bigger. When you're dropping off knowledge and you're letting people know, hey, I can lead you to the water, but I can't force you to drink it. And you have a lot of knowledge. You have king of pentacles worth of knowledge. Drop some knowledge into people's spirit. It's not always in the form of paper and coins. Hey, this is what worked for me. It may work for you. You can try it if you want to. If you don't, that's no problem. It's really no sweat off of your back. And when Source has you kind of sort of like things seem like they're paused for you. Source is saying it's because it's, it's you have an assignment here. You have an assignment here and your obedience really is better than sacrifice. So, hey, here's the, the obedience. So heart chakra cleanse. That's right. Heart chakra cleanse. The best is yet to come. See, your consistency is key. So you're moving in silence and you're moving in peace. That's right. So they want the best for you. That's it. Right. So get focused. That's right. Get focused. Get laser focused. But document your dreams day and night. That's right. Yeah. But so time to ground yourselves. And that's what your ancestors are helping you to do. It's time to ground yourselves, right? Time to ground yourselves, Aquarius. It's time to ground yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody just has a, a demon of lust and envy, whoever it is, who jumped to conclusions about you, all Aquarius, made the wrong assessment about you. And um, and that demon of lust and envy is really ba like basically treating you like you, their property. Whoever this is, you may have left behind. Basically, like if, if I can't grow with you, I'm going to control everything that you're trying to grow without certain people, right? So Source is saying to you, you're not worried about that because the creator created the devil. So, you know, you're not... You ain't, you're not on that frequency. You're not on that frequency of fear. Is you versus you. There's no competition. You have the gift of pre premonition. That's forewarning. So source lets you know things in advance. Source knows you. Lets you know all the players in advance. Who, what, when, where, and why. Source lets you know all of that in advance because that's a gift that you have. So the spy is now turned on. So. Prepare for an increase in pay. That's what we started out there. Your money is growing because you drop in knowledge. You don't see anybody as competition because you have none. You have none. They have none. If there's no. I'm, if I if people could just get that, there's enough to go around on planet Earth. There's nothing new under the sun. Source created you and created everybody in a way where you're. There's some things you may have in common with people, but it's not a hundred percent of everything you have in common with people. You don't have a hundred percent of things in common with your parents, your kids, sis, brother, sister, friends. None of that. Some things may cross where like y'all have certain things in common, and then other things is unique to you, unique to them. Create, create, create. That's what you're doing. Create, create, create. So, all right. There it is. That's the frequency you're on. Love. So there is no other frequency for, for you. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. That's it. Source is love. That's it. That's it and that's all. So prepare for an increase in pay. Prepare for an increase in pay. People jump to conclusions. You know, grip it. They let them keep on jumping to conclusions, right? So here we have time to breathe out. Just take a breather. <laughs> take a breath right for real like slow down ah, just inhale exhale breathe right lose that extra baggage that you've been carrying around through your through deep breathing techniques right that's what somebody's doing just take a breath out take a breath right there it is again love that's the frequency that you want it's the only frequency so what people think about you zero concern if it's not on the frequency of love, that's not the conversation you have. So, yeah. Spend time with friends. There it is. Yep. So, source is definitely increasing someone's um, circle, you know, increasing your circle of friends, your creative group of energies, right? So, yeah. So, hashtag winning out here. Hashtag winning. 
So there it is, Aquarius. That's the kind of week you're having. I love it. I love it. I love it. Continue operating in a frequency of love. If source is pause, putting some things on pause for you, you feel like things have slowed down, it's because there's a job, there's an assignment. Source is like, hello. It's like you work for a uh, permanent temp agency, right? I know that's it. Like, so source is like having a new job for you, but you're always working for source, right? So that's, a, that's who you, that's who your boss is right that's who your boss is that's who your leader is that's who your creator that's who you're working for right always staying in purpose mode right that's the essence of who you are it's not a job title it's not a zip code you live in a car you drive material possessions it's the essence of who you are as a humanitarian aquarius and that's the frequency that you're on so make it a great week make it a great week aquarius make it a great week don't forget to journal this week um, of just like all these creative ideas that's coming down to you. And if, so, if Source puts some things on pause, okay, Source, what's the assignment you have for me? You put some things on pause. You put some things on pause. What's the assignment? Who is my assignment? What is my assignment? What do you want me to do? Okay, good. Okay, now I got my marching orders. I can go, right? And so, and so you're a cheerful giver to Source, to Source, right? So other people are going to benefit from that, which you're giving to Source. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Make it a fantastic week, Aquarius. Do not forget to set your intentions. All right, bye.